Let's make the most delicious chicken soup you'll ever eat. Winter in Montreal, Canada is eternal, it feels, and I really felt like having a soup that will give me kisses from the inside of my belly, and I want to show you how you can make it at home as well. We are going to start by getting an onion and peeling it. And then we're going to finely chop that onion. Next, get two to three cloves of garlic and chop those as well. And then get about an inch of fresh ginger, peel it, and then use a microplane or any other grater and grate it super finely. Now get two to four stalks of celery, cut them first lengthwise and then into small pieces. And lastly, get two carrots, peel them and then chop them thinly. Now pull out a big pot and preheat it over medium low heat. Once it's hot, add a drizzle of olive oil and then add the chopped onion then the chopped garlic and grated ginger and stir fry until the onion is translucent. At this point, I love adding some chili paste. My favorite is ají amarillo, but this is optional, of course. Give this another quick stir and then add the chopped veggies. Also add a few sprigs of fresh thyme and six cups of chicken broth. Give it all a good stir and then bring it to a boil. Once it's boiling, add one pound of chicken breasts. Mine are pretty thin, so they'll cook fast. If yours are thicker, cut them in half horizontally. Now add sea salt and pepper to taste, depending on how salty your broth is. Cover the pot, reduce the heat to low and set a timer for 15 minutes. Once the timer goes off, Take out the chicken breasts and place them on a cutting board and add one cup of quinoa to the broth. Cover again and set a timer for another 15 minutes. In the meantime, take two forks and shred the chicken breasts. Five minutes before the timer is about to go off again, add the shredded chicken and half a cup of frozen peas to the soup and stir well. Let it simmer until the timer goes off and at this point, turn the heat off, drizzle the juice of one lemon into the soup and it's already time to serve. I hope you're going to give this delicious chicken soup a try. If you do, please don't forget to snap a picture and show me. I love seeing when you make any of my recipes and I'll see you with my next video. Bye.